What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H. Back at it with yet another banger. And ladies and gentlemen, we have 2K24 gameplay for you. Drop a like right now because as soon as this video hits 5,000 likes, I'm talking the second it hits 5,000 likes, I'm dropping another 2K24 video. Now, today's video, we're going to have a full breakdown of the gameplay in 2K24. You're going to see the all-new 2K24 engine pro play in action today. We're going to be going over the new takeover system, including some takeovers you've probably never seen before. We're going to be going over finishing in 2K24, whether it's the dunk meter, the layup meter, the standing dunk meter, the post moves, and the alley-oops. We're also going to be going over shooting, whether it's three-point shots, mid-range shots, hop shots, post fadeaways, and of course, the greens. We're going to be going over dribble moves, whether it's the blowout dribbles, the dribble breakdowns, the ankle breakers, and the blow buys. And of course, we can't forget about defense, block animations, shot contests, perimeter defense, paint defense, bump animations. We're also going to be looking at passing styles, passing animations, the new draw foul animation system, celebrations, and even the new commentating in 2K20. So make sure to stay tuned in this video and I wouldn't recommend skipping because there's a lot of hidden gems sprinkled in the video And make sure you're subscribed if you're watching right now check to see if you're subscribed because you need to be subscribed Because we're dropping a bunch of 2k24 stuff whether it's the builder the rec center potential builds You might want to make in 2k24 or base your build off of Mamba moments more gameplay and all that good early 2k24 fun stuff Anyways, let's get straight into this video. So I'm gonna start off by saying a couple of things I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask me if you could compare 2k24 to any other 2k what would you compare it to to be honest i can't compare it to a single 2k it's not like any other 2k i've ever played all i'm gonna say it's just like 2k24 it's completely new in my opinion now i'm gonna show in the background Giannis and steph stats and badness so you can take a look at that while i'm talking to make something clear we were not at community day to fix the game or give you know feedback whatever we were just there to make content to bring back for y'all to give y'all some early footage now keep in mind we were playing against the computer and apparently in 2k24 the ai's also got a buff so you're gonna see the ai's are a little better than usual and everything was on hall of fame in this gameplay which is the same difficulty level that rec pro-am stage and park is gonna be on in 2k24 and i play with a variety of teams so you're gonna see a bunch of superstars in the gameplay today whether it's victor women yama stephy curry yas under the kimpo lamello jimmy butler Jokic, Kyrie, luka katie booker lebron ad all of them now, the first thing I want to show you guys is the settings because the settings are a little different this year. So you can do player lock in modes like this. Honestly, I didn't even see that when I was looking at this, but you can do vibration function. So that's just going to be vibrating when you're like bumping up against an offensive player on defense or, you know, just stuff like that. So I had that, I had that on the trigger effect. I'm pretty sure is a new setting where you can like, if you have your meter on, I'm pretty sure you can like click the tr trigger and then that stops the meter. But it seems like that's a lot harder to shoot with. So I have it on, but I wasn't actually using the feature. And then, of course, you have your shot timing. You can put it on shots, layups, layups only, shots only. I would definitely recommend putting this on shots and layups to at least start because the layup meter is very, very good. Uh, layup timing is very, very good. I wouldn't take that off. It's definitely an advantage. And, of course, why would you not want shot timing on? Free throw timing setting. Then they got a shot timing visual cue. Now, this is the thing that's messing me up for 2K24. Now, this setting replaced the 2K23 setting where you could put it on early, very early, late, or very late timing. Now, they have push and they have release. And then I think they have another one that's after that. But, bro, this was really messing me up because all 2K23, I was on early and now there's no like early so uh, at least i don't think so maybe push was early i don't know bro but this was messing me up i had it on release for most of the time and i could not shoot because i was so used to early timing so that's definitely going to be an adjustment for some people and then you got jump shot meter on off i put it off layup meter make sure this is on when you start 24 uh, you're going to see a lot of the layup meter in today's video make sure that is on until you get used to it I don't know how you could get used to it because it changes depending on what you're doing and where the defense is. So you'll see what I'm talking about later. Then you got free throw meter. And I like how you have jump shot meter, layup meter, and free throw meter all as options for meters. That's a huge W. I'm probably going to have free throw meter and layup meter on to start 2K24. And you can change your shot meter uh, style now. The one that I was using the entire video, which I think is the best shot meter in 24, is funnel. So if you like the shot meter I'm using, use funnel. And then you can also change the shot meter size. I put it on large. I would recommend this. Shot meter large size is a W. You can also change your shot meter color. Uh, I just left it on green. So I guess if you green a shot, it could be like yellow or something. That's kind of cool, I guess. And then you have your perfect release and like uh, green settings as well. Like the sound setting as well. And then a bunch of other 
minuscule stuff but those are the main settings that i looked at so if you like any of the stuff i was using in today's video just copy that down for 2k24 So the first clips we got up are the bumps for defense. You're going to see a lot of defense clips coming up here. So first thing you're going to notice is I walk in with Crystal Middleton and I get the fast feet badge that pops up. Fast feet is a very important badge. It's going to help you move on defense laterally um, and just defend people better. But look at all these bump animations I was getting. When I was playing this game, I'm telling you, the defense felt a lot better, okay? Now, once again, I am playing against AIs, not playing against real people, but I was getting bump animations. I was sucking people in. I pause, but I was getting like bump actual physical contact i was making good contact with players you see i force him into like just sucking into the paint ayo i'm trying to explain it but look at, look at gary payton look at how he just harassed gordon hayward into a pick up ball animation right here clay thompson absolutely look at these animations i'm telling you the defensive buffs were there brandon miller has to pick up the ball because he's not going anywhere he's bumping into clay thompson he gotta pick up the ball look at kyle lowry i almost just completely bump him all the way forward into the three-point line, forcing him to pass right here. Look at Jimmy Butler. I'm forcing him out of bounds with that bump. Even Stephen Curry was getting a little bumpy with it, but those, you know, clamp breaker animations are still there because, you know, Lamelo's way taller and probably stronger as well. But now we're moving on to the paint defense and blocks. Look at the first block I ever got. You can tell with the block system this year, you know how like in 2K23 you would jump and like players wouldn't sometimes like actually jump for the ball. In 2K24, they actually go for the ball. So I know some of y'all hated that, but look at Giannis and Brook Lopez on both those blocks are attacking the ball on blocks, which is good. You see a couple paint defense clips. You'll see a lot more when we look at the slashing stuff. But look at shot clock run and dime are down. Players are finally falling down on good shot contests. Again, look at I green this layup meter. No, Tyler Hero's there and he's attacking the ball on the block. He's not just jumping. Okay, so that's very good to see. And inside position is very important on the paint defense. But even with no inside position here, Burke Lopez with the high block rating and the gold anchor top right still manages to get the block. Moving on to the steals. Blitzes are still there, of course. I feel like they're always going to be there. But what I noticed with the reaches in 2K24 is that your player actually reaches for the ball just like the blocks. You know, like sometimes in 2K23, your player would just kind of reach like he was blindfolded or something. Right here is very key one. It's congested. And look at Look at the AI. He just randomly pokes at the guy he's not guarding and gets a steal. That's a new animation. Another blitz animation right here turns into a jump ball. Uh, yeah, you could definitely tell that there are some new reach animations right here. I don't know what that was. I think it hit it off his leg or something. Definitely some reach animations and definitely some things where the player's actually reaching with the correct arm and actually attacking the ball when reaching. Okay, so that's a huge W. Shot contest right here. You see I'm on offense with Stephen Curry. Go over. I feel like I was open here. But no, that's a 14% covered right here. I'm on Clay Thompson. I'm trying to bait Brandon Miller into shooting. I end up doing that. And even though it's a 18%, he gets contested. Like he gets that physical animation where he's leaning back because he got contested right here. Now, this is up to y'all to look at. I mean, dude, I don't know how he made that. Like it was on Hall of Fame. The three. I mean, y'all heard the commentators. I was bumping him 47% red in his face with Chris Paul. I don't know. I mean, that was kind of crazy. Hopefully, that's not happening too much, okay? Hopefully, that's just the AI being good. I got the slashing clip starting with the dunk meters. Now, the first thing I did was go in with Giannis and look at the first clip I got with the dunk meter. This is before I even changed my meter. I mean, bro, he is Hall of Fame bulldozer, and we just threw Kyle Lowry after getting a clamp breaker animation, which I know that badge doesn't exist, but that's what I'm going to call it, like the blow-by animation. We throw him into the crowd. I mean, dude, I don't know why they had Kyle Lowry on me right here with Giannis, but this is only just, that only happens for a couple of plays. But once again, going at Kyle Lowry, get out the way. I mean, we missed it. You see the, the the dunk meter. It's green or miss. And the green window is really small on that for whatever reason. But yeah, we missed that because we didn't green it. You have to green dunks for them to go in. It is green or miss. Same with the layup meter. It is green or miss. Right there, you see the contest of the green window is very small. Now with the layup meter clips. This is probably the my favorite thing about 2K24 is this layup meter. You see the wide open layup. I think that was like a full green window. When you have wide open layups in 2K24, the entire shot meter is going to be green. Right here, we push. I think that was Tyler Hero off of us. And look at the green window. It changes as the shot contest changes. So Tyler Hero's on me. It's a little smaller. Then I push him off of me. Now I'm more open. So the green window gets bigger. Right here, we get blocked by Duncan Robinson off of green. 
Hey, he's going for the ball right here. Bobby Portis. Look at the green one. It completely changed. Because at first I was open, then I wasn't. This is a perfect clip to show it again. So you see, I spin. I have no green window because Jimmy Butler's right in my face, but I get him to bite. And now the green window gets massive because that's a wide open layup. He he was in the air. The layup meter green window size adjusts basically based on the Kashaka test. Right here with Brooke Lopez, you see, I had a wide open layup. The entire meter is green. So it's impossible to not green wide open layups if they're truly wide open. Right here, again, Kyrie Irving, wide open scoop layup. The whole meter is green. I think this shot meter for the layup meter is a W. Look at it, completely contested, no energy. The green window is like not even there. Same with right here. The green window is just not there. You're not green in that. You're not making it. Once again, inside position is huge in the paint. Look at how immediately when I get inside position, even though I missed, the green window got a lot bigger. Uh, now we're looking at some pro play animations that I just noticed. Jokic right here. I mean, this just has Jokic written all over it. Little scoop layup. That just had it written all over him. Lamelo Ball, his little signature layup animation right there. I don't know what this was, but Duncan Robinson made some crazy heavily floater. I mean, it is on Hall of Fame, but these AIs are going crazy. Alley-oops are exactly the same as they were last year. Exactly the same to time them. Uh, which is fine. I thought they were perfectly fine last year. We'll probably see some new pro play alley -oop animations as well. The standing dunk meter. Now, I got some good standing dunk meter clips with Victor Womayama. If y'all want to see Victor gameplay, drop a like. I'll show that. But I was doing this with Jokic. This is a new feature, the standing dunk meter. And I greeted, but I missed because he blocked it. So I tried to go in again right here. He's totally on me. I get fouled, but there was a green window on that. Right here, posting up with Jokic again. And you're going to see the green windows there. But then when he contests and blocks it, it goes away. So I greened it, but he blocked it so it went away. So the dunk, the standing dunk meter, I don't think it's going to be crazy overpowered. But it, it's possible to green if you master it. Now, there's just some random clips. LaMelo Ball overpowering a smaller defender for the easy layup. And then I tested to see if like hanging on the rim gave a uh, violation. And it does again. But let, yeah, let me know what y'all think about the slashing clips. But it's time to move on to the dribbling. Make sure to drop a like, by the way. Starting with the blowout drill move animations. This is a new drill move in NBA 2K24. So when you're sprinting up the floor, you just tap the right trigger and your player kind of throws the ball out, you know, out in front of him and runs, get this like boost animation where he just runs super fast. Uh, obviously, this is going to be faster with players like Kyrie right here. Uh, it's going to be slower with taller players, but it's still fast regardless. You can use this on any player, any height. Uh, you can use it when you're coming up the floor. Definitely going to be usable in fives and threes. Maybe even usable in twos if you're like driving to the paint. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a good animation. Very easy to do. Literally just tap the right trigger. So keep that in mind when y'all load up 2K24. We got a lot of clips to go over right here, by the way. And I also forgot earlier with the driving clips, if you take the layup meter off, it's a 20% green move boost. Same with the shot meter uh, for jump shots. But yeah, this uh, blowout animation is a huge W. Now, this was my first impressions on 2K24 dribbling. You're going to see some left, right adrenaline uh, animations here. You see last year, left writing out of moves. Like you would lose an adrenaline off of like running out of any move. You see right here, I'm not really doing that. But once you get the low energy, you see, I'm just losing adrenaline, even though I'm not going to get bumped. You're supposed to lose adrenaline when you get bumped. But once you just start abusing it, they kind of look at that as you're getting clamped. So you will start to lose adrenaline. Now, right here, pay attention to my adrenaline bars. I didn't get a, I didn't lose one for that bump from Lamelo earlier. But right here, I lose one for getting bumped right there. Then I keep running, lose another one. Not sure why. I was kind of confused about that. Then right here, I'm going to stop and go out of this screen. I don't really get bumped, though, and I lost another adrenaline. So I think once you get to really low stamina, they just start taking adrenaline away from you if you're just kind of running out of moves. Now, right here, I was trying to do the step back uh, in 2K23 where you just hold the right trigger, flick the right stick back. It didn't even exist. Like, it just gives you random size up animations. Like, that didn't exist. So, I was just trying to mess around, trying to dribble like it was 23. That doesn't work. The dribbling feels completely different. The actual input moves you have to do come out with different things. Now, right here, I was just holding the right stick, di diagonal down left, diagonal down right. I did notice a couple times that I could just cancel out of running the left or the right with a move. So, that's kind of good right there. You see Drew Holiday right here with Kyrie. I was just messing around. This is the first time I was on Kyrie. Uh, and you see the stop and go animation. So that's another reason to have strength. Not because the dunk meters, but also because of dribbling. There's a lot of reasons to have strength. We'll talk about that in my builder breakdown video. But anyways, you see Kyrie is going to get an ankle breaker right here. So here's some ankle breaker moves. Look at the crowd. The moment. I'm checking out Utah. The moment. I'm checking out Utah. The crowd kind of reacted. I didn't think I really did anything, but I guess it kind of stunned him right there. Uh, here's another ankle breaker I got with Kyrie. You're going to see me kind of shift him. and He's going to like go back. 
kind of get stunned get a wide up at three i missed though because i'm not used to the new jump shot timings and stuff i'm used to that early stuff like i said earlier but anyways yeah we get wide open off that that was kind of fire stephen curry right here another angle burger i did not expect this at all this was the craziest angle burger i saw at community day i don't think anyone else got that animation but he has gold ankle breaker and i didn't really like i don't know what i even did like he just went to the floor no takeover or anything now here's some crazy like random moves i saw you see this Kyrie behind the back was low-key kind of fire uh definitely looked like the Kyrie behind the back he does uh in real life so that was fire and then look at the ai i don't know what move this was i even tried to get on the jazz and do this with colin sexton trust me no matter what i did i could not get that move to activate but that was a crazy speed boost move i saw the curry slide is back as well uh the walk back is back as well i didn't get any clips of that though uh so yeah any of my you know small guard small guards the, the walk back is back but look at this move right here you know of course i missed because i'm not used to the timing bro i was i was i was missing a lot but anyways uh yeah this move's looking good right here i didn't i didn't do a lot of crazy dribbles but i did see some fire stuff this right here looks good uh we're coming up the court with stephen curry a little behind the back we're gonna call for a screen and you could just still do the simple stuff right you know right trigger hold the right stick up diagonal right and get that speed boost move out of that easy pick and roll right there uh curry slide once again is back uh and you're gonna see me get this little crab animation stephen curry's crab animation y'all his size of escape that is looking very fire for my small guards even victor had a good behind the back but yeah a lot of interesting moves that i saw some players that i thought were moving good of course Kyrie, john morant was moving good too uh stephen curry kevin durant brandon ingram anthony edwards uh even devin booker i mean bro look at kd bro is like 610 moving pretty good bro i don't know if it's just because it's kd or if you can do that with a my player but he was going crazy too you see the stephen curry curry slide uh you know got in front of him but you know of course i missed it john moran was going crazy he's got some kind of shifty moves but uh he was going crazy as well uh once again victor gameplay drop a like if if this video is at 5,000 likes already then the video is already up so go ahead and watch it but let's go ahead and move on to some shooting clips start some shooting clips with some three pointers now remember when you have your meter off you get a 20 percent boost to hitting greens right here get to my spot no takeover from deep hey man he has hall of fame a little bit of his range so he's going crazy and i wanted to show the difficulty immediately just so y'all know hall of fame difficulty just like the park rec stage pro am all that stuff right here Stephen Curry the ball right off the dribble you know one stop pop shoot you know one dribble pull up he got right to his spot and shot at the meter i thought that was nice a little quick a uh, little hezzy right here gets to his spot green i felt like the movement with curry like stopping on a dime it just felt smooth like you couldn't quick stop obviously but it felt smooth okay uh curry slide right here and we shoot over those yes stephen curry is like that in 2k24 lebron little low fu three-pointer right here shooting over those uh austin Reeves holding up the three-point line now kd this clip was crazy i don't know how this is open but it was open i don't know if stretch bigs are back or something but that was kind of crazy right here i don't know what the out of bounds barrier is looking like but grace now i was inside the three-point line do one step back and now i'm out of bounds i don't know how that works we're showing some post fadeaways the post fade cheese still there uh it's gonna be showing some shimmies all that kind of good stuff in the post i will say devin booker's kind of hop shot right here that you're gonna see is nice and quick look at this oh my gets right to his spot green that Devin Booker animation is looking nice. I might have to use that. Uh, once again, little shimmy shake, post fade, green. Going crazy. Now, the delay greens are still there. I don't know what's going on with green animations because obviously, you know, you don't have green landings on these in quick play, right? So uh, hopefully that's in the park or whatever. But look at this shot right here. Post scores are looking crazy. I mean, he's shooting over two dudes right here from behind the free throw line i don't know why jimmy butler didn't just contest but yo post scores are looking real nasty the i don't know man i'm kind of worried about that now free throws you're gonna see one free throw with Kyrie right here now there was another free throw i didn't get the clip but i missed it like i half barred it and it gave me an animation where like you know how like players will try to get the offensive rebound at the end of games and you'll like try to get the, your own rebound it gave that animation like i was trying to purposely miss and get my own rebound so that was kind of cool that might come into effect big for like 5v5 games but yeah look at some pro play animations duncan robinson's jump shot looks exactly the same off ball movement is another thing now obviously i couldn't do off ball movement because i'm on the single player stuff but the ais were doing it and there's a lot of off ball badges that we're going to talk about in the builder videos that look really nice but yeah the ais were going crazy 
with off ball movement, whether, whether it was filling in the lanes, you can see Lori Markin is sending an off ball screen for Jordan Clarkson right here. Catch, shoot, bang. I mean, they were really abusing a lot of off ball stuff. Kyle Lowry filling in the open spot, catch and shoot, bang. You see a lot of their jump shots look very similar to IRL as well. A couple of them definitely improved because of pro play. Tyler here, a little pull up three pointer right there, bang. And Kevin Love, I don't know how he made this, but. Outside for Love from the arc. Oh my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four point play. But he, but he made it. I, I don't know. I mean, he got a four point play, 13%. It was a white, too. This is on Hall of Fame. So I don't know if the AIs are the only ones that can make whites. I think actually in quick play, you can make whites on Hall of Fame. But yeah, Park Rec, you cannot do that. Uh, anyways. Uh, the shooting, how it felt to me, the shooting felt a little weird. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if it's because I'm used to that early setting in 2K23, but it did feel a little weird to me. Um, I think I'll just have to adjust to it and then it'll feel like perfectly fine once I adjust to it. I feel like that was the only problem with that. Uh, fade away three pointers. You notice I didn't have a single clip of that because I didn't make a single one. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it, I don't know if it was because of the animations or something, but I wasn't making no fade away threes. I, I think they said they patched it. I don't know. Maybe I just have to get used to the shooting a little more. I'm not 100% sure on that. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, can you shoot with a lower three? And that's what I specialize in right now. I couldn't test this in quick play because, bro, it's on Hall of Fame difficulty, just like Rec Pro-Am and all that stuff. That's what I was playing on, right? To actually get a good test. So I couldn't get a good test on lower three-pointers at those uh, at those difficulties. It's going to be all over me. I'm not going to get open with a Draymond Green or something, you know? So, and it's like weird jump shots as well. But... I did use like a 78, 76 three pointer in the rec gameplay that you're going to see coming up. So make sure you subscribe for that and you're going to see what ends up happening. But I think you will be able to shoot with lower threes this year, 100%. If you can time your shot, you got to be good. No, not anybody's going to come out there and do that. But yeah, that's what I have to say about lower three pointers. Now we're going to talk about the new foul system in NBA 2K24. You're probably like, Double H, what the heck are you talking about? Well, just hold on a second. You're going to see a couple of these clips. When the players drive in and try to draw a foul, they actually try to lean in and actually try to draw that contact, number one. There is a new whistle badge, too, that allows you to be better at drawing fouls. So you know how there's a draw foul uh, stat? Well, there's a draw foul badge basically called whistle for builds. So keep that in mind. Uh, but anyways, now we're going to look at clips of this new thing where if you jump in someone's kind of like landing zone or in someone's face, like you're just jumping at stuff, you're going to get a foul call and players will probably be able to just to shoot it and draw that foul in the record of 5v5 or whatever. Uh, but obviously the AIs, I guess they just weren't smart enough to do that. But look at these clips like example right here. LaMelo almost gets ripped right here, throws it out the bread and middle. I jump on a pump fake, I bite and that's a foul. He draws the foul. He probably could have shot it too when I was in midair and get the three uh, free throws, but he draws the foul right here. Same thing. Kyle Lowry's out in the basket. I landed his landing zone. That's a foul right here. I just randomly jump at De'Aaron Fox, bump into him. That's a foul. So yeah, there's a whole new skill for builds and all that that's going to be coming in the park rec pro-am. And it's going to be trying to draw fouls, get players to bite on pump fakes. So pump fakes might actually be useful so when a player is like oh i meant to pump fake maybe they're actually being serious because that was always the worst excuse when someone you know missed a shot but anyways yeah that, that new foul system is going to be a w it should be interesting to see how that comes into play in 2k24 now with the passing in 2k24 if you have a low pass accuracy the your teammates are going to get bad catch passes like this when luca catches this ball because josh green doesn't probably have break starter, probably doesn't have a crazy good pass accuracy, and that's why Luka has trouble catching this ball right here, and that's going to take effect in the park in all game modes as well. Now, right here, look at this pass by Steph Curry. Steph Curry passing style is unlocked at a certain rating that I can't say yet, but I'll talk about that in my builder uh, video, but look at how fast this pass is. Mark Williams tries to reach in the lane, and it just doesn't matter because the pass is so quick, so fast, it just gets right through. I mean, look at that pass in real time. That was a absolute dart to Kevon Looney like come on now now I was messing with some other players as well but sometimes the passes will be low depending on the situation or slower depending on the situation like even Steph Curry right here the pass is a little slow but I feel like the best passing styles in 2k24 that I was eyeing was Curry, LaMelo Ball, and Tyrese Halliburton. Post scoring in 2k24 now I was using Jokic one thing I will say is inside position is huge 
If you get inside position on offense and there's a player behind you, like for example, 2K23, you could still get like a heavily block animation. I don't think that's in 2K24. You just get a wide open and you get no contest if the defender is behind you, unless you get a block. Now you can still get contested by good defenders like Bam on post fadeaways and stuff like right here. If you're boxed and the defender is inside position, like you're not gonna make it, right? Um, but you know, if you do get that inside position, it's good. Like, look at this. You can clamp post scores if you have good defense like Bam. Look at, I'm throwing Bam off of me. And I greened the standing dunk, but I missed it. Uh, so yeah, you can still throw people off you on these post spins if you have a good bad as a badge level for it. Uh, another thing is though, like post hooks like Jokic's post hook honestly doesn't look very good for like park players but it looked just like his post hook right you can still green over small defenders especially if you're you know playing a guard as a post score you're gonna be able to shoot those post faders post fadeaways right over them and honestly i think post scores are looking really good in 2k24 and they have a lot of good badges as well as you're going to see in the builder videos Takeovers in 2K24. Now, in quick play, you couldn't actually choose your takeover, but in the park program rec, you're gonna be able to choose whatever takeover you want on the fly. Now, once again, like the fadeaways, I don't know. I couldn't hit a fade. But, anyways, uh, this was sharp takeover, I think, right here. Now, there was a couple takeovers where I genuinely didn't know what takeover it was because I couldn't tell. It doesn't look the same. Like Trey Young had this like windstorm takeover on him. I saw on someone else's screen. I didn't know what it was. At first, I didn't know what this takeover was that Wemby had on, but I'm pretty sure this is the old defense takeover, defense rebounding, because I was getting like little spots on the floor when a rebound would happen. But yeah, there's a defense rebounding takeover. There is a playmaking passing takeover. There is a shooting takeover for all shooting stuff. There is a slashing slash post scoring takeover, and there's a physicals takeover. Now, right here, you see the green window on that shot was actually crazy Wemby. And once again, if the Wemby video is up, if this video has 5,000 likes, the Wemby video is already up. Go check it out. Wemby game plan on the way. If it's not at 5,000 likes, drop a link on the video right now. And it's the second this video hits 5,000 likes, I will drop a full Wemby gameplay video. But anyways, we got some more gameplay videos as well that could be coming out today. I tried to get a late contest there with the defensive rebounding takeover. Doesn't work. Wide open. I know that was a problem in 2K23 where you could just be sitting in the paint and get late contest. But right here, this is how I knew it was defensive rebounding takeover because of that spot right there on the floor you know the rebounding thing so that's still in the game but anyways guys make sure to drop a look at the video as soon as this gets to 5,000 likes the Wemby video will be posted and if the Wemby video is already posted it's already at 5,000 likes then the video is on your screen go check it out right now and as soon as that Wemby video gets to 5,000 likes I will drop a Mamba moments video gameplay with Kobe Bryant versus Michael Jordan in the NBA 2K24 with all the Mamba moments rewards but anyways it's video boy Henry aka double H make sure you are subscribed a bunch of 2K24 early content on the way people henry aka double h and matter y'all peace click on that video man